Cloud Code took over the Vibe coding world with Storm. With its agentic coding capabilities, as well as availability of different cloud-based models, especially Opus and Sonnet, a lot of folks are moving over to Cloud Code. And one of the questions a lot of folks have is how to make agents work in a chain or a parallel fashion, or have some sort of a setup where you have the orchestrator and the workers working towards the task. Now, there are some smart ways of adding sub agents and making them work in that fashion. One easy way you can actually work with agents is using Langflow. So the capability of Langflow to be used as an MCP server comes in handy because now you can use any flow as an MCP server. So for example, I have this flow where we are looking at collecting the news on a particular topic and then sending that over to a large language model to summarize and present it in a nice format like this here. Now, this is something that could be done in cloud code as is by adding some different MCPs, configuring it manually, or it could be done in Langflow with having a nice visual interface and you can add as many agents here. Now, in this case, we just have one LLM call, but then you can imagine adding multiple LLM calls or you can combine with different agents. So for example, you can have OpenAI based agent doing certain tasks and then you might have Grok based agent doing some other task, and then another one calling Llama based models. Now, in addition to that, you have the ability to use any of these bundles here for your agents. So your cloud code agent can have superpowers with this integration together with Langflow. Now to get started, first thing I did is I made sure that I have a working flow and then I activated the MCP server. And the way you could do that is if you were to go to the tab for MCP server, you're probably gonna see all of the flows together. So I edited to use only the one that I would like to use. You could use one flow or you could use multiple flows. And that is something based on the capability that you'd like to add for your agent. Now, what I'm going to do is there is an option to install for Claude. So this is one way of installing for Claude desktop. And then you can ask the Claude code to pull all the MCP servers from Claude desktop. So that's one possibility. Second possibility is to take the JSON. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to copy this JSON. And now I open the project. And within this project, I'd like to use the MCP server. And in easy way is to ask the cloud agent to add the MCP server that we just copied. And with that, it is going to start working on it and it should be able to get the configuration and then save that. Now there's an option for you to ask either to keep the MCP server for this particular project or to add it globally for the user. So in this case, I just wanted it to add something locally for this project. So it went ahead, ran a few commands, and then it said the MCP is now active and it listed for us. And then we see that it is connected. Now to test it out, I wanna ask for it to get the latest news because that's the agent we have from using the Langflow MCP. And if you run the first time, it's going to ask for a few permissions. And for me, it's fine because I know it is something that I have configured myself. So as soon as I started searching, I realized that it does not have access to MCP tools. So usually it wants you to reactivate the terminal window. So it asked for us to run this in a new terminal. So that's what I did. I ran in a new terminal and with that, it was able to search. Now in this particular case, since web search is built in with cloud code, but of course, if you have use cases where it's more than just a basic search, then definitely it needs to use Langflow MCPs. It's always nice to mention what sub agent or what sort of flow you want to use from Langflow. So in this case, it went ahead, it gathered the news for us, it summarized for us the news, and now we have it. Now, building on that example, I have another agent within Langflow, which can perform the web search, but also it has access to my Gmail as well as Google calendar and it can make changes in the calendar it can create event delete or do all of these additional actions same here in gmail it's configured to send email we can also add additional capabilities and this is using composio so i could ask
fast for it to fetch my latest emails or get certain attachment or get some contacts. So all of that is possible with this simple setup. And now this agent, along with all of these tools, could be part of Cloud Code. And I can ask Cloud Agent to get all the emails for me and also create some sort of a calendar invite. And of course, if I want to add this as an MCP server, I can go in here and then use the AI personal assistant tool as well. So now it has access to this particular flow. Now, one thing that can help is the description. So you might want to modify and make sure that you have right description. So in this case where I had new summary, I had asked for it to use the flow for new summary, but then the description was not the best. So now in case of AI personal assistant, this is a nice description saying that this helps with web search. It helps with sending emails, setting up events or in calendar. So all of this is going to help our cloud code agent to easily understand and use the flow that is appropriate for a particular task. Now, there's also more documentation available for Cloud Code MCPs on the official website for Cloud Code provided by Anthropic, where you can see how one could configure different servers. And this applies to adding Langflow as MCP server as well. Now, there's also another way of using Cloud Code, and this time it is using it as an MCP server. And the way we can do that is simple. We basically just say Cloud MCP serve. This is going to convert the Cloud Code agent into something that we can use as MCP tools from any application. And in this particular case, we want to see how we can do it within Langflow. Now, you need to add this as the configuration within the Langflow to make it work and get all of the available tools from here. So for example, I went ahead and added this as just server and I used the NPX version. So if you're using just Claude command and it is available globally, you won't have to use the environment variable, assuming it is already configured in your case. And once we have that, then we'll notice that there are 15 tools available and we can use that in any offer flow. So for example, I made a simple flow where I wanted to add the MCP tools from the the cloud server and then I can actually see all of the tools available and this is quite interesting actually it shows exactly what are all of the tools available within cloud code so you can have certain thing for a task there are also some bash commands and then there are also at the bottom something for to do's and notebook read and write so this is quite interesting and I wanted to test with web search because that is the example that we use earlier so I as our agent to use the tool and perform a search on Anthropic and get the latest news. And that's where it used the web search within Cloud Code and it provided the query, it got all of the results, and then it summarized all of the results for us. So basically, you can use Cloud Code as an MCP tool within Langflow, or you can use Langflow within the Cloud Code to use any of your flows as MCP tools. And those could be your sub agents with multiple tools and multiple integrations performing a wide array of tasks available within Langflow. Now, what could be really cool is that if you have a certain folder open, you could use MCP tools from Cloud Code to pretty much work with any file, make changes. You can vibe code applications. You can search for docs using any of the available tools within Langflow and provide that to Cloud Code agents so it can work with the latest docs. You just have to be careful with the prompts and the commands that you're going to be using because that is going to be happening at system level. Again, this opens a lot of possibilities and super excited to see what you build and how you use Cloud Code together with Langflow.